So thank you so much for checking out my tutorial about how to create a landing page in GetResponse. If you would like to follow along, I will leave a link in the description of the pinned comment and you can click that to follow along or simply just try them for free. So I'm gonna do this a little bit different. I'm a little past normally when I do finish doing my videos. So I'm gonna take a little bit slower, probably not make as many edits and I'm just gonna see how it goes. So if you want a relaxing time here, we can create a landing page to convert people, okay? So what we want to do is when we're on the inside, we're going to go to tools right here and then we're going to click on landing pages. And if you haven't created any yet, it should look like something very similar to this. Nevertheless, even if it looks a little bit different, you want to find the create landing page button, which is going to be here or here and simply click that. All right, so how do you want to build your landing page? You can use an AI powered builder if you like, but since this is more of a tutorial, like this, you might not need a tutorial as much. I'd rather walk you through and kind of give you the reasoning behind why I would put it together this way. I'm gonna use a ready-made template. All right, so here we are, and GetResponse provides you with a wide variety of templates that you can use. Keep in mind, before we continue, this isn't going to be a lead generation one. This is gonna be more so that you send someone to where you can convert them in order to get them to do something or take an action that you would like. Maybe make a purchase, maybe it's going to be, you know, going to a phone call, clicking on a webinar, you know, something ideally, you, maybe you're sending this through your email and uh, you wanna create a landing page for it. With that in mind, you can choose and browse any of these that you would like. I'm specifically going to use blank templates because I love keeping my landing pages simple. So I'm gonna click right here and we can pretty much use any of these. Ideally, what we just need is only gonna be a few things. So with that in mind, I am gonna go with this one right here, the blank template three. You can even preview it if you want. There's not a whole lot to preview because you can actually see it here, but I will show you anyway. Ta-da, fantastico, phenomenal. Okay, let's just use this one. So find one that you like, even if it's not a simple one and click on use template. All right, and we have made it. It's gonna be pretty straightforward. And the first thing I wanna do is delete elements that we're not going to need. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about theory, or not really theory, because these are things that have worked for me, but things you don't wanna do in creating a landing page and things you do wanna do. The first thing is you don't wanna send them off to social media. When you're sending them to a landing page, you have one goal in common, and if sending them to social media is not gonna be that goal, we don't want it. So anytime you see something you don't want, you can just hover over it and click on the trash can like this. And just like that, it's going to be gone. So ideally what we're gonna have here, we're gonna have our headline, a sub headline, a video and a call to action. So we're not gonna need an image here. Okay, and actually all this in the bottom, ironically enough, we're not gonna need either. Anytime you hover over a section, you see how I'm doing that and I go here, that means this whole section, if we don't need it, we can just go like this and do trash can. Same thing with this, you can keep these if needed in case you wanted to add more down there. So I might just keep those there now and these and we can always change it around later. So let's go from top to bottom because it's gonna be easiest that way. If you wanna add a logo, you certainly can. I'm gonna show you how to do it. You would click right there, which I just did. I'm gonna click right here under replace. All right, and I already have some files. If you don't have any, you can simply go to add files, but I'm gonna go right here to my files. And I'm gonna go with this right here. So I'm gonna use this one, I have my logo. Perfect, and just like that, it's gonna show right there. There's gonna be a few other things you can do here if you want to, like you know, uh, hiding on mobile devices, which you can do if you want, not a huge deal. I'm not gonna focus on like every single, you know, little perk that you can utilize, but let's move down from where we are now. So this is going to be our headline. So ideally what we wanna do here, I like using video landing pages and you might be wondering, well, how come you don't just always send them to a YouTube page? Sometimes I do, you can do that. But ideally, if you want the least amount of distractions, if you send them to a landing page and you have a video embedded there, your audience and your viewers aren't gonna be distracted by a million things on YouTube. You've seen it before, all the suggested videos, all the notifications, all the, uh, anything, the algorithm, which perfectly knows your viewer. Okay, so by sending them to a landing page, you have higher chances of converting because there's less distraction. So we're gonna have a headline here and let's just pretend I'm gonna be promoting GetResponse. You know, I'm gonna be sending my audience to a landing page where they can learn more about it because I have a review. Or actually, let me take a step back. Maybe this is just gonna be a valuable tutorial where they can watch it and they still have the opportunity to check out GetResponse. So let's go like this and let's change our headline.
And here's the headline formula I pretty much use in almost every landing page tutorial I do. How to yay without boo. So this is a great formula that you can use pretty much anywhere you want. And if you really think of something good, your audience is going to really like it. I'll just say that much. So how to yay without boo. So if we're talking about email marketing, so how to something they want to do. Automate your email marketing and then say without writing every single email. So that's a pretty good hook. Now just keep in mind that the video that you use below it has to actually pay that off. Mine might not, I'm just using this as an example, but I just wanna let you know that if you're gonna write something that has like a really good hook or there's a lot of good curiosity to it, just make sure you pay it off. Now the font size is a little big. I don't like how email is there by itself. So we're on 52, I'm gonna go to 48. I think that looks a little bit better, okay? Under this is gonna be a subheadline. This is where you can add a little bit more to the subheadline, or you can just do something like, you know, click play below to see how it works. So it's a little call to action to get them to watch a video, okay? Given the fact we do want them to watch a video, what we can do now is go to add elements. We can go to video right here. And what we wanna do is drag and drop it right below so that white bar shows up. And perfect, now we can click on this here. And I'm just gonna paste the video link, I already have it from YouTube. And okay. And ta-da, there I am, okay? so. How to automate your email marketing without writing every single email. So ideally how you could do that, GetResponse allows you to do the autoresponders and you could like write emails with ChatGPT. I didn't talk about the ChatGPT in this one. I'm just kind of letting you know as an example, if there was going to be a hook, you know, something like that. This could also be a review and demo, you know, a demo video where you show them how that works and you talk about it. And of course, down below is going to be the call to action. So we can go right here. Let's click on the call to action. And we could do something like click here to try get response free. Next, what we want to do external page or website, we do want to do that. So let's do the external page or website. Now I'm going to type in just get response. All right, so we have getresponse.com. Make sure you do in a new tab. This is very important, or at least for the fact that you have a video here. So imagine if you were watching this and then you click on this and the whole page just goes to get response. That means they're gonna lose their place. And because of that, you also lose the opportunity for them to come back. Cause if they don't hit the back button, they're probably gonna be off your landing page until maybe they see it in the future. Maybe they don't, okay? So what's better is they click on this, they open it up in a new tab, they can always come back to your landing page. That gives them the extra ability to either continue watching your video or maybe click on the button again if needed. So you wanna just make sure you give them the opportunity to continue to read or learn or watch from your landing page, okay? There's going to be some other styles in case you want to use them. You can click on more styles here. Really up to you, depending on what your brand is and what you're looking for. So I'm just going to keep it as that. And I kid you not, this is pretty much going to be the basics of a landing page. It is so simple. Uh, and what I like most about this is that they're not very difficult to do. You can change around the background if needed. Like you can move your logo on the bottom. And speaking of that, this is gonna be the extra stuff if you wanted to put it here, just to kind of give you some ideas. It's gonna be a little bit more, but everything at the top is the most important, right? Headline, video, call to action button, or a link. It's really up to you what you wanna do, okay? So this could be, maybe if you were offering bonuses, this could be like, you know, the PDF of it. This could be another ebook. This could be a video course, or this could just be benefits of using the software, like GetResponse, right? Automated emails, you know, great open delivery, you know, automation and so on and so forth. And this could be a little bit extra where you maybe just give another call to action, try GetResponse for free today. You add a little bit more and you have another call to action. So all of this is going to be a little bit extra. If you wanted to use that, you can plug it in and use it exactly how it is, but I am just keen on simplicity and keeping it as simple as possible. So I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna remove, actually, I'm gonna remove this first. What I wanna do is also remove these. Like I said, the main goal in this one is to get them to watch the video and click on the button. We don't want them going to our socials. That takes us away from our main goal, okay? So what I wanna do now is just move this. So I'm gonna go over it and drag and drop it down here. If I can get it there, the screen's being a little funny. Hold on one moment. 
There we go, I got it. So now what I wanna do is double click, and it's you can't see it because it's black text on black, so when we double click and highlight it all, we can just go to the font color being white, and now what you can do is see it. So down here would be something like, say, privacy policy, right? You might have like your terms and conditions or maybe support, and what you would do here, when you have your privacy policy, you just wanna highlight it right there, and what you can do is go to the link button right here, all right, now just put your privacy, you know, policy, whatever it's going to be, whatever the website is. And once again, let's do a new tab. So wherever your privacy policy goes to, wherever it's hosted, whatever web page or website, you can link it to it there. And you would do the same thing with the terms and service. So I'm not going to redo that as well. All right, you're also going to notice we have a big section right here that's kind of just doing nothing. We can just do this and delete it. And ideally, this is gonna be what our landing page looks like. We can also just simply move this down to the bottom if needed, this whole section right here. It's gonna be the header, so they're gonna, it's gonna be there unless you just turn it off. So you can keep it there or you can drag it down to the bottom. It's really up to you, but what I wanna do here is do save. All right, now that that's saved, we can actually preview it as well. All right, so not bad, just about above the fold. So like you can see this and like you scroll down a little and then there that's gonna be. So when you hop on the page, all of the main actions and everything we're looking for is gonna be right here. That's what I like about this. Like I said, if you go on YouTube, you're probably on YouTube right now, right? There's so many distractions. You have all these videos on the right side. And imagine if you sent to your website as well. You can do that, but a lot of websites are gonna be a distraction as well. They have the menus up here, right? They have the drop down boxes, they have advertisements, they have pop-ups, there's affiliate links, there's regular links, there's webinars, there's specials, there's coupons, there's promos, there's everything. The idea of a landing page, I hope I've kind of hammered this home, is that you want the least amount of distractions. You focus on one thing and you, you do everything to optimize to get that. And this, it's obviously clicking on this and going from there. So that's gonna be the preview. Uh, let's look at the mobile. All right, so this goes down a little, bit, a little bit further, that's fine. You can change this around actually, which is kind of cool. So if we do this, I think that would look a lot better. Probably make this a little bit smaller. That's the heading two. Uh, and I think that looks better and then down here. So they don't have to scroll or just not scroll, but move down on their mobile too much. So that's gonna be good. You can also reset the default if you want, but I think that looks fine. And once again, that's gonna be the normal view. So that's the preview. And just like that, we're gonna be good. So what we can do is either save it. Let's do save. Okay, and now that we are done with that, let's simply click on continue. All right, so the first thing I did was just change the name. It was giving us a template of, you know, something random. I just changed it to get response landing page. This talks about your subscription settings. So if you do have a list there, that one wasn't specifically for generating leads, but if you did have lead generation, this is gonna be where you add them to your specific list and add them to your specific autoresponder cycle if needed, okay? Favicon, in case you wanna update that, if you're not sure what a Favicon is, it is eensy beensy teensy little icon up there is gonna be on your landing page if you wanna use that. If you want a cookie consent banner, you can do that as well. Uh, these are gonna be some statistics. Landing page stats are gonna be fine if you wanna use web push notifications and of course business info. So a lot of this is business as usual. For the most part, you can pretty much keep it as it is uh, aside from like changing that and if you wanna add context to a different list, but everything else looks pretty good. Let's click on continue. All right, and so the last step here, a get response landing page on get response, talking about get response, promoting get response, very meta. Okay, so let's just say we're gonna call this like GR. All right, I did get a response. I'm not sure if it's taken or not, but let's click on publish and see what we get. All right, and what we got is great, it is good. You're gonna see right here, this is gonna be where some of the performance is, unique visitors, page views, traffic over time. And of course, it is gonna be published, it is on. And of course, we can just check it out. I'm gonna click this and open it in a new tab for you. All right, and this is exactly how I arrived. Everything is above the fold, which is fantastic. And above the fold means that you don't have to scroll down to get to the main action. This is why I prefer the simple ones. If you've ever seen a long form sales letter where you have to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll, and sometimes the main action is gonna be all the way down at the bottom of the page, 
a lot of people are not going to scroll down. That's why above the fold is crucial and key here. You can see everything that is going to happen. There are no other distractions, no social medias, no bells and whistles, no nothing like that. They can watch the video and click the button or they can leave. That's the only thing they can do. And that's exactly what you want when you're creating a landing page inside of GetResponse. And I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial when it comes to creating one about GetResponse in GetResponse for GetResponse, something like that. If you got any value out of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you do want to test out GetResponse, I'll leave a link down below in the description of the pinned comment where you can try them for free. My name is James. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a great day.